Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Good thinking! We'll go back in time to find out! I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Mobile is ready for adventure. That's right, we're in the Cretaceous period, millions of years ago when the Earth was filled with dinosaurs! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina. We were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. Whoa, do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm, let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo. Go fetch, Tina. Sometimes I forget my size. Us T-Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long. Wow, that's so big. Hey, let's go for a walk, Tina. Whoa, look at all of those teeth. tells me that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Edit time. Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. Wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait. Where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies! Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here. Hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. 
This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. Oops, sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car! It's going so fast! You're right! The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo! We can go to the racetrack and find out! I'm gonna need race car tires! Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the racetrack? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain, do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa! I'm blown away! 
Hey! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! I love our cool Blippi Mobile! You're right, Debo! Our car does have amazing things! Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars! I'm gonna need helicopter blades! Helicopter blades confirmed! Activate Blippi Station! Back in time! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We just traveled back over 100 years! I wonder whose house this is. It's mine! My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am! Come here, future Blippi great-grandson! <laughs> Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go! To the top of that hill! Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck, 
with big, tall, monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's do this. All right. Can't bounce as high as you, Megan. And oh boy, we're almost tipping over. Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race and have competitions. Cool! Whoa! Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course. Whoa! 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 This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four Whoa. wheels at once instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out! I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller! Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, hi there. I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello. I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoa! Someone called the Tooth Fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woo! 
Hoo-hoo. Choo-wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi! Don't forget the boss! <laughs> Yum! These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious! Oh, what a mess! Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling! Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, Devo! I think I know that fly! It's Horace! Hi, Blippi! How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? No, oh, it's easy! Watch this! Ta da! Wow! Yes, sir! The ceiling is my own personal dance floor! Skip it, bit dip, 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 Now you try! Here goes! Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some! Don't mind if I do. Here goes! Whoa! Oh, now I stick to the ceiling too! Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh! The glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist! Do the fly leg twist! And get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye. That one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and the fireworks as high as 1,000 feet into the air. Whoa, that's 
pretty high. Good idea, Taps. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Right! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space! So colorful! Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them! You. Stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right. Let's go. <gasps> Here it comes. The grand finale. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. What an amazing show. And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Oh, no. Debo. Look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You have reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Debo! Oh no!
Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp. Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry! Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus and a shark and a sea turtle and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter and a seahorse and a lobster and a stingray. <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder. How does a guitar work? <laughs> You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinky Day! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Rock and roll! That sounded great. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. 
out! Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note! <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> Now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it low! Thank you! Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud! Like a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth! <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank you! And now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Whoa, Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. <laughs> You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa! Little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no! I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. 
I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, uh, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Ready for adventure! You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon! That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk incoming! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh no! I got it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. And we'll be gone soon, Taps. Great! since I just finished my fun painting. Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs, exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa, a rainbow, so many colors. I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer! I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi! 
I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Lippy. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, Superfan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> go down the slide again. Race you to the show! You're on! First! Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose! <laughs> Exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! <laughs> Thank you! Look, another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked. Check this out. Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything. Last one down is a banana peel. Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not, here I go. also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? 
Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savanna. Bye-bye, Tembo. <laughs> we had such a blast. Ooh, it's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, tabs. Whoa. There's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to outer space. I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on! Next up is the giant Jupiter. 
bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings! Whoa! They look beautiful! Can we get closer? Of course! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! Wait! We haven't finished yet! On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold! Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the meteor. Mmm, I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm, I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. No, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo! After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready! Ta-da! Whoa! You both look alike! And I have the answer to my question. How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> Holy smokes, a volcano. <laughs> That's right, Debo. When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out. I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield. Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Is 
ready for adventure! Let's go through the side vent into the volcano! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here! Whoa! Hey there! I'm Maggie the Magma Monster! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt! You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo! Speaking of treats... <laughs> Below us, deep in the Earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me! <laughs> You're right, Debo! It is like one of our favorite games! The floor is lava! Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Flippy! Magma! Phew! That was close! Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie.